Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm Caitlin. I'm here to talk about Colab. So what is Colab? It's a website that lets you to program Python using your web browser for free. Whether you're a hobbyist programmer or wanting to dive deep into AI and machine learning, Colab can be a great tool for learning and playing around. Here's a quick demo and screenshot of Colab. There's a lot going on here, I know. It's a busy screenshot, but some of the quick major features include sharing. You can quickly and easily share your notebook right here, sharing it with anyone, even if they don't have a Google account. This means that it's great for collaborating with others on your own projects. It also provides powerful virtual machines. Colab provides powerful compute engines, and it comes pre-packed with a ton of built-in dependencies. You can always pip install anything that you can't find or that isn't already built in. Another great feature about Colab is that it allows you to easily document your code. Um, it's not a great example here, but you can see the line plots is a title. It, Colab notebooks, notebooks support Markdown with MathJax in text cells in line with your code cells. So you can have richer formatted text. You don't have to just rely on Python comments to document your code. We've seen a lot of cool uses of this, this inline documenting with text cells from textbook authors to building out their book in Colab, to teachers creating tutorials and walkthroughs in Colab. Some of you might have seen that. Most importantly, Colab shows data visualizations in line. All code outputs are displayed right underneath the code. In the example shown here, it's just a matplotlib graph, but you can see by playing around with it, there's tons of rich outputs like data frames, data tables, all sorts of great stuff. Colab provides the backend compute engine for free. We support both Python and R runtimes, and specifically for Python, we provide CPUs, GPUs, and TPUs for your data processing needs. Colab's big selling point is providing everyone access, especially hardware that's required to learn computer science and machine learning concepts. I've got a quote here from a professor in math and stats at the University of Colorado Denver, and the TLDR is that not everyone has a high-end computer available to them. I know I didn't for the majority of my schooling, and with Colab, you can easily use a high-end computer with just a click of a button. So let me give you a brief history of Colab. Uh, it was built in 2014 by a small team of just six researchers. They were looking to make their own lives easier. They felt there was a better way to collaborate and iterate in the field of machine learning. Quickly, with Googler's delight, the internal version of Colab took off and led to its public launch in 2017. We realized that the ability to execute arbitrary Python code from your browser and using a high-performance ML environment just hosted by Google with no setup required was a huge win for everybody. Since then, we've been working on a ton of great features, but I'll highlight two today, the AI coding and enterprise offering. AI coding, it's very popular right now. It's powered by Kodi, a generative LLM technology for software engineering. Um, here's a quick demo of our AI chat feature in Colab. I'm using Colab's AI chat to figure out how to make a plot. For me, personally, I don't know all the fun libraries and how to do it. It's outputting several steps in different code chunks, and it makes it easier to learn what's happening and enables you to make edits and iterate on the result. I can easily copy the code into my notebook, run it, and ta-da, there's a really neat graph. Another cool offering that we have is Colab Enterprise. It's our collaboration between cloud and Colab. There's a screenshot of our enterprise offering. Again, slightly busy, sorry about that. But it's showing a Colab notebook hosted inside Google Cloud. You might want to use this offering if you need a specific VM that maybe Colab doesn't have built in for free, or if you want to enable it for a whole school or maybe a whole company. So that's a quick overview of what Colab is, and I'll hand it off to Key, who will explain why you should use it. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. All right. Thank you, Kathleen. Now, let me briefly talk about you know, our latest research finding that supports all of the benefits of using Colab that Kathleen just talked about. Right? The motivation behind this research is to answer these following questions. Are we really helping the users? Right? If so, how is Colab helping our users? How can we quantify the impact of Colab on our users? So the TLDR here is that Colab increases developer productivity and satisfaction based on the controlled um, experiment we conducted. And here is a closer look at the data. So what we did was we had Google engineers assigned to one of the two study conditions, and we had them go through these ML and data analysis tasks. And we measured task completion time and their satisfaction and their perceived productivity, so their efficiency. 
not surprisingly, the engineers who used Colab completed the given task three times faster than those users, those participants, um, again, Google engineers, who used the Google standard IDEs. So as, as you can see, the dark blue is Colab, and the, the lighter one is the other, uh, other Google standard ID that we tested. Here's another cool result. So academic research found that, that there's more to developer productivity than just getting the work done faster. Studies have shown that um, developer satisfaction and their own sense of feeling productive made a real difference in you know, the, the performance they actually did. Well, as you can see here, we found a higher satisfaction and self-reports of productivity in Colab users compared to the other group. So back to our original questions. How is Colab helping our users? We not only increase your efficiency, but also increase your happiness.